Are you looking for an amazing inner and outer thigh workout? One that hits our glutes and gives us a nice strong booty? Well, today's class is just for you. Hey friends, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for jumping on my channel and joining me for a class today. Now I've got a Pilates class that's really all levels. It's one that's especially good for our lower body. Now, most of us don't have a reformer at home and so this is extra special because it really mimics some of our standing series we generally do on the reformer. But instead of having that lovely moving um, platform, we will be using a blanket or a sock or a slider if you happen to have one. So we do need one of those things to do this class, but I'm assuming everyone's got a sock out there. So hopefully you will enjoy it. Now, all you need is your little slider item. So a blanket, a sock, a slider, and your mat. Go ahead, roll it all out. Let's get started. Let's just begin standing, waking up our body. Stand tall and straight, pull the navel in, open up across your chest, roll your shoulders backwards a few times. Make it really purposeful, lift them up as high as you can, take them as far back, far down, and then reverse other direction. If you let your spine move a little bit in here or our ribs kind of open and close, it's okay at the moment. Take a pause, reach both hands high. Now do think about knitting the ribs together. Rotate your pinkies towards one another, grow an inch taller up to the sky, take a big inhale. Hands behind the head, elbows wide, put a soft bend in your knees. Push the elbows back. Push your head into your hands, your hands into your head, and lift a little higher out of your waist. Take a big inhale, take a twist to the right. Inhale, look forward. Twist to the left. Inhale, look forward. Stand tall, stand straight, poke the elbows wide, squeeze your thigh butt connection point and lean over to the right, poking up your left elbow. Really fan open the rib cage, take a breath. Cinch the waist, pull yourself up to starting. Same thing, other side, poke the elbow nice and high, big deep full inhale. Exhale, bring yourself upright, let that go. I want you to pick up your knee and swirl it around both sides. We're just waking up the hips a little bit. That can be as big or small as you want it to be. And then opposite direction, out to in, out to in. And then pause, take your feet a little bit wider, turn your toes away from each other, put a soft bend in your knees and pause. Drop your left shoulder down, maybe look over your right shoulder. I think about externally rotating the legs a little bit, almost pushing the back of my thighs back behind me. Look down, kind of rise up, and then a great big twist in the other direction. I am pushing the right shoulder down. I am rolling my left back, belly button up and in. Big inhale, big breath out, and then let that go. And now, as I mentioned, we're going to do something a little different. I'm gonna fold my mat in half, and maybe even a fourth. And grab the blanket, the slider, put on your sock if you've got it. We're going to put one foot on our mat that's rolled up and one foot on our blanket um, or sock or slider, whatever you've got. And now at first, I just want us to stand tall and straight. Hips, uh, feet about hip distance apart, navel to spine, head high, take a big deep breath, big sigh out. Hands can stay in our hips. They could go off to the side for balance, whatever's gonna help us. But I want us to start by bending our knees and pitching forward. I'm really lifting my low belly up and in and opening up across my chest. And then all I want us to do is push our right foot away, the one that's underneath the blanket. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, push it away. Exhale, pull it back. As you reach it open and closed, can we keep our head, our chest nice and level? Can you wrap the obliques in, wrap the rib cage in, feeling the support in the center of our body? Inhale, push it away. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, push it away. Exhale, pull it back. Now do be mindful that our toes and our heels are facing the same direction as we move our legs. So I'm not like letting my toe kind of wiggle wobble out. I am pushing down through the entire foot out and then pulling it back. Push it down and out, pull it back. Last time, push it out, 
pull it back, pause. Stand tall, stand straight, lightly push the pubic bone forward, lift up and out of the waist, externally rotate your right leg on the ground, bring it back to parallel. Externally rotate from that ball and socket joint, bring it back to parallel. Externally rotate and return. Externally rotate and return. Last time, keep that external rotation, bend both knees again, that's gonna feel a little wonky at first, that's okay, pitch forward, belly button in, chest nice and open. Now keeping our leg externally rotated, straighten, pull the heel back underneath your hip. Straighten, pull the knee back under the hip. Reach it out and away, use your inner thighs to drag it back. Reach it out and away, cinch your waist, pull it back. For three, and two, last one, pause, rotate in, stand tall, stand straight, beautiful, hands to hips or off to the side, bend the knees, pitch forward again, low belly up and in, straighten your right leg, rock your weight to center, stand tall, squeeze your thigh butt connection point, take a big inhale, and from here you want to exhale, pull both legs together, bend the knees, pitch forward, push out, Find your center, look up tall, stand tall, exhale, squeeze inner thighs, pull it back. Bend, hinge, push open, center, and then stand tall. Beautiful, bend, hinge, straighten. So we're kind of going in a little circle. And I'm really thinking about the inner thighs helping to pull my leg back to its starting place. Straighten, exhale, pull in. Two more, just like that. Reach it out, find that center, and then pull in. Last time, bend, hinge, push, find your center, stand tall, exhale, pull in. Now pause, we're gonna go the opposite direction. So slide it out, bend, hinge forward, close, come on all the way up. Slide out, bend, hinge, tummy in, exhale, close. Come on up, beautiful, down and around in that nice circle. Two more, open, bend, close the legs. Last time, notice if you're arching your back at all as we close the leg in. Now hold for a moment, low belly in, head lifts high. We might not go very far on this one, it's okay. I simply want us to open and close the leg. No bending, no hinging. So I'm gonna slide, open, and then I'm gonna exhale, pull it in, and that's harder than it looks. Inhale, slide open, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, open, exhale, tone and close. Inhale, open, exhale, tone and close. Three more, open, exhale, close. Two more, open, exhale, close. Last one, close, pause, take a big breath, relax, shake it out. Let's go ahead and move our things to our other side. And just like we did on the other side, we'll start standing tall and straight pushing the pubic bone forward, lifting up and away. Hands can be wherever we want to. And then when we're ready, bend your knees, pitch forward. Lift the tummy in, broaden across your chest. Simply start by pushing the blanket away, pulling it back. Push the blanket away. Exhale, cinch the waist, pull it back. Reach it out, pull it in. Reach it out, pull it in. Three more. And two. Last one, in pause, stand tall, stand straight, drive your pubic bone forward, lift the tummy, lift the head and chest, externally rotate your left leg, bring it back to parallel. Really move from that ball and socket joint. It's my upper thigh that's doing all the work here. At the same time, I'm imagining someone pulling my right ear up to the sky, keeping me tall and straight. Beautiful, three and two. Last one. Now keep that external rotation, bend the knees, pitch forward. Again, that might feel a little wonky on this one, it's okay. Straighten, drive through your almost floor as you pull the heel back. Straighten, exhale, cinch the belly, pull it back. Straighten out and away, exhale, tone the tummy return. Straighten out and away, exhale, cinch the waist, bring it back. 
three and two last one slowly stand tall take that leg back to parallel almost push your pubic bone gently forward so we just know we're not arching through the back or dumping into our spine stand taller and straighter than when you're ready bend the knees pitch forward push it out find your center stand up and tall bring it in down pitch forward low belly in slide it out find your center so we're going to take that little circular action again notice is one side easier than the other that's often the case there's usually one side that i say to myself oh that side was a wee bit easier and it's not that it's a good side and a bad side instead i think good side and side of opportunity i have one side that just has some more room to grow to find more strength down and around push it out in a way i'd like to point out to you friends that this is something that you could just be doing while you're standing in your kitchen building some strength you could have your socks on while you're you know doing your dishes um, if you can imagine i am one of those people that is always constantly moving so if i am standing cooking or cleaning honestly i'm dancing around like a fool <laughs> because you know it feels good to move my body and why not use all of my time in the most that i can go ahead and come back up let's do one more little round in this direction come back up now reverse so we slide open bend pitch forward exhale close stand tall slide it open bend pitch forward pull it in up slide bend pitch forward bring it in and open you got this friends you're doing so fabulous up we go open bend pitch forward pull it in stand tall open bend pitch forward draw the inner thighs together stand tall beautiful open bend pitch forward in stand tall great last time and then comes that fun challenging one from here just open and close the leg without dumping into our low back without cinching up and kind of using all of our upper body to help it's our low body slide it open exhale cinch your inner thighs together pull it back inhale slide it open exhale tone your tummy pull it back inhale open exhale close oh that one was hard for me do you see my foot was wiggling there we want to keep the toes pointing forward the entire time open exhale close if you've ever been on a reformer this is a move we often do on the reformer standing up tall and straight so you get some nice balance in this as well two more open exhale close last time open exhale close pause take a big breath relax shake it out now from here friends we're going to turn to face your mat or if you know if you're not using mat that's okay too but let's put our left foot on our mat uh, i'm sorry our left foot on our blanket and our right foot on our mat hands to our hips navel in stand tall and straight and then again we're going to bend our knees and a little pitch forward now once more it's really easy to kind of arch my back here that's not what we want navel to spine keep our low back so long so straight hands can really go wherever you want to sometimes it's helpful to have them out in front of us that kind of gives us some balance but you do you now from here take an inhale push your toe away exhale pull it back in now as you take it out and in almost drive your like the ball of your foot through the ground exhale squeeze inner thighs towards one another inhale open exhale pull it in inhale open exhale pull it in you notice my heel is away from the floor too i'm definitely in a forced arch position my heel's not reaching for the floor at all as much as i can i'm trying to keep my shoulders my head level my shoulder blades wrapping back it's not like i'm caving the chest forward at all two more at this pace last one 
Now we're gonna go a little bit faster. Maybe bend the knees, maybe pull the navel in, out and in for five, for five, four, three, two, one, pause, belly button in, shoulders broad. Again, five, four, three, two, one, pause, navel in. Last set, five, four, three, two, one, pause, stand tall, shake it out. Go ahead and switch to the other side. One foot on, one foot off, decide where you want your hands to be. Bend the knees, little pitch forward, navel to spine, decide where our hands are gonna be. And we'll go slow and steady at first. Drive the foot back, use your inner thighs to pull it forward. Reach it out and away, exhale, pull the navel and bring it back. As I drag the leg back in, I envision trying to bring my inner thighs to touch. Inhale, open, exhale, close. If you have your hands forward like I do, it is easy to cave the chest in. Make sure our chest is beautifully open. You could put a smile on your face knowing you're doing good things for our body. If we feel like there is any kind of tension through our back, perhaps we're not engaging our tummy muscles enough. Of course, our legs are getting a workout, but in our Pilates, our tummy should always be working hard. Wrap the abdominal muscles in. It's like you're cinching your waist. Last one at this pace. Pause, now comes the fast little quick ones. Go ahead and bend a little deeper, navel to spine. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Last time, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Take a breath and relax. Shake it out, wiggle a little bit. Move your blanket um, off and away and open up your mat once more. It does not have to be perfect at all, but go ahead and stand tall and straight for just a moment. I'm gonna face this way. Reach your hands up high. Notice if you're arching the back, push your pubic bone forward, lift a little higher. Take a big inhale. Flip the hands, bring them down, chin to chest. Bend the knees, slowly roll yourself down to your mat. Shake your head a little yes and no. Catch your elbows, sway them side to side. A little rag doll, looking through the legs. And then drop yourself onto your mat. Find a little tabletop and a little cat and cow. Open your knees a little bit wider. Push your hips back. Crawl your hands forward. Let your forehead meet the mat. Soften. Relax. Take a big, deep breath. Big sigh out. Stretch your fingertips a little further away. Take another big inhale. Big breath out. Roll yourself up to a seat and bring your feet out in front of you. Open them up a little bit wider than your hips, maybe about as wide as your mat. You can put a bend in your knees if you need to. Flex the feet, lift the fingertips higher. Rotate the pinkies towards one another. Lift up and away. Take a full breath. Take a small hinge forward. Now gently tuck your chin into your chest and think about keeping the spine long. This is not about our head coming close to the ground at all. Take another breath. Exhale maybe a little deeper. One more breath forward fold over the legs. You do not have to be as deep as I am. You do not have to touch your toes or, or your ankles. Just let your hands relax wherever. Nod the head a little yes. Shake it no. Roll yourself up to a seat. Again, big inhale, both hands lift high. Twist to the right. Inhale, unravel. Twist to the left. Inhale, unravel. Flip the palms, push them down. Take an easy seat. And as always, friends, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed class today. I cannot wait to see you again.